Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is going to be a Yuri's Revenge game that I hate. I'm going to be USA versus USA. So, I mean, USA versus USA is, is kind of a crazy um, game because ba basically you're going to have a lot of Rocketeers and, like, a lot of stuff. It's two oils, two, a lot of gems. It's, like, basically a high-resources map for a while. A little bit, like... Offense defense for a while, less a little less or than that, but for a while it's kind of like that. But it's a smaller, I don't want to say a smaller map, but it's like more of like a square map. Um, this is like one of the more fun maps, the more fun maps in the game. Need a repair? Got the plans right. Oil refineries captured, acquiring additional resources. Unit lost. Building. New construction options. So as you see, I'm stretching toward the gems. And I was just anti scouting, anti scouting. We're actually we're actually mainly just anti scouting so his dogs don't Securing kill my engineers. That's the main reason. And I'm not sure what happened with that miner right there. So I'm trying to harass him. And look, here's like something that I did wrong. I didn't even see it. But my miner got stuck in the refinery, <laughs> as weird as that is. And this actually might have put me behind, and I thought I was doing good. And I was trying to, and I was like, well, see, I didn't even see it until right then. I, I looked up. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. I'm like, what the hell? So that cost me a lot of, a lot of money, actually. That's actually kind of stupid. But I was so focused on tag, and I didn't see that. So I'm trying to get some miners, trying to... Attack his ore. His ore pairs. He's got pillboxes. He's got GIs to defend it. Uh, see, it's, I mean, to try to kill him, I mean, somebody that knows how to defend it's a little bit difficult because you gotta kind of had to do some like a really hard attack and freaking crack him somehow. So he has a little bit more Rocketeers than me, so I wanted to like not fight. I got what five. He's got. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Unit ready. So I lost some money on that. Just my for my miner not mining, but I just kept playing. I mean, crap happens. You gotta keep playing. I got one IV for air defense. I think I have a second one coming on the way. I like making IVs. Although some people they go pure grizz and they just make and they just make rocketeers. Um, I don't do that. I like to make I like to make IVs too. Uh, he's trying to go after my oil, and I don't want to let him get it. And now, I got, I basically got it covered. There's no way he's going to kill it. I, but actually, he came close. I had to repair it. So here we go, Rocketeers. Training. Unit ready. On hold. Canceled. Okay, so he's put a lot of pressure on me. Since I got IVs, has he has me a little bit out tank, so I gotta be careful. This this raider might pop. I'm thinking about selling it. Um, he got it. I was gonna try not to sell it, but he got it. So, but I am out tanked here, but I gotta use my pillboxes, or I will lose a t in a tank versus tank fight. And you think he's got a little bit more racketeers than me, but I got IVs. So I basically I'm more of a defensive defensive army and he's more of an attack army right now um but the reason why i like making the ivs which i consider like defensive is because i i think it kind of i kind of it's kind of better <laughs> to put it in a simple way make a lot of racketeers because like later in the game when you get prisons and mirages this IV is going to be more valuable than what his grizz would have been okay so i want low power i was like oh crap uh we still one building I was like, yeah, I don't, I can't lose like, like freaking 15 to 20 seconds of like slow build like that. I can make another power plant, another refinery. I always try to come up and try to harass this Rocketeers, but he moves away. If it was a bad player, he wouldn't notice and I'd get like three or four of them. <laughs> I do that all the time to like people that aren't good. Um, but I actually do it versus good players too, but I don't get like all the Rocketeers. I just get some of them. Um... And then it's like, he had that covered. Now I got a Rocketeer split. That's what some of the pro Soviets play. They say this, 
a lot of pro Soviet players are, are afraid of racketeer splits, like on Tanya's training ground in this map, because they say that like, racketeer splits are like the way to go. Now he can't put like Patriot missiles on every single place in the map, like like Patriot missiles on each oil. That's a lot of logic. I mean, it's just not really reasonable early game. So I mean, yeah, he he didn't he didn't see him. But I also got another like, reinforcements ready. I think is he going to do the same thing I am? So I look at my top right oil. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Um, I gotta check to see he, and make sure he's not trying to sneak up on my oils too. Now this actually like sometimes the game goes like one way where one person beats the other per person, but this game's actually going back and forth where both players are basically just fighting and like and it's like kind of like a championship match or something like every both players are like doing good kind of. So. Now I'm keep keep mining good. He has an all purifier before me. Noticed um. I don't have ore purifier, but I want to go two fast war factories and then maybe an ore purifier or something. I I just I, I could wait a minute on my purifier to get that second war factory. Don't wait too long. I want to make a Tanya instead of a seal because Tanya could kill miners and killing miners is really good. It seems like sometimes I'm successful with that, sometimes I'm not. Usually when the mine is usually when it's like a big map with a lot of crap all over the place, the Tanya seems like to be better than the seal because she. Because she could just like pop, pop, pop miners. It's harder for her to do with Soviet miners. She could still like kill one or two. More than two, it's like too hard. Trying to get a Tanya down there. And accidentally, my, my IV accidentally freaking went down and shot at the miner so he knows I was there. Let's try to get, got the, <clears throat> try to get the IV away, but I couldn't. Now this guy's like going all like crazy and stuff. And I really don't know why the IV came. I think I actually think I misclicked it. There's no other no other explanation. So notice I got my upper left oil, and then he's cornerstone and my tanks into his into his GIs, and the GIs are gonna absorb the hits, and then everything else is just gonna kill me. I guess the reason why he's doing that is he's gonna get on promotions, and he wants to kill my units. So I'm trying to. Trying to micro my micro my IVs to try to s s swipe off some some racketeers, trying to s kill some racketeers. Now it's coming to the point where there's so much crap, you know, you have to be a little bit defensive in this. Can't go pure offense and just run at him. Making making some making some um hatred misses is definitely a good idea. You don't want to go 100 percent defense because if for some reason I make a mistake and lose my IVs. I'm going to have Patriot missiles to survive against Rocketeers because my Rocketeers, I mean his Rocketeers will kill my whole entire base if I do not have Patriot missiles. And, and or, or I could like just like oh start making spamming IVs like after I get my ass kicked. But uh, you don't want to do that. You're gonna lose the game like that. So I'm on a defensive. But he's got so many freaking GIs that I was actually thought I was gonna lose. The, I might lose the game right there. So I had to, my, um, prism tanks, I can't really move them right there, they're kind of stuck, because if I move them back, he's gonna be firing at me, I'm not gonna be firing at him, I'm like, oh shit, so I had to move my IVs back, got, lucky got an elite, he actually was gonna do a thing, it's like a lot of people doing in too, where, if you have so many freaking racketeers, you can just kill all the IVs, just go right over them, and then they, you just freaking get screwed, like, if you're experienced, you kind of like, kind of have to have an expectation that he might do that, so you don't want to... Let his IVs beat your racketeers like that, so I'm gonna be his back now. I can harass like hell with this IV. He got two prisms only. Now watch this. Bam, 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 bam. Turbo. Dude, that was freaking awesome. I just freaking wrecked those Mirage tanks. Then hit. Yeah, you have like little attack units, you know, going for miners and stuff. That's what that's what that is. It's kind of like a split unit attack unit. I'm gonna harass these miners over here. Maybe get one. I'm lucky. And then as I'm doing this, I want to come in with the seal. Now I was like, look, going for that freaking lab, and I was like, oh, I, if I get that lab, I don't want to lose all my racketeers. Now I see he has a mirage tank protecting it. I was kind of, I was kind of mad I lost that elite IV because I think it freaking harass all game, miners all game. But oh uh, shit, I was like, um, by the time that mirage was hit at me, I was like, I don't think, I think if I run, he's gonna still kill me. So. 
At least I'm gonna focus. I'm just gonna commit to get into oil, and I know I'm gonna get blown up. Because you kind of judge the situation by like the Mirage was right on top of me. I, I mean, I have used a sp faster, but at that point, you know, you know, half health, I had to get out of there. Okay, and now here's a little tricky thing I want to do. I want to build a refinery in front of my base so I could get the ore in the middle. We can make adjustments. Unit ready. I noticed like, okay, he's he's got everything defended. We're both kind of sparring. I noticed I got my tank punched right there. My um, mirage and prisms. I want to make sure I spread hit, pre press X to spread like I did right there. But spread, you gotta press X to spread, but then you gotta like spread it a little bit more than that. I got a little bit of her good harass going. What I wanted to do right there is get some guardian GI IVs and freaking and and some IVs and go right there and I could basically shut them off of that hill. But I actually, there was so much stuff happening that I actually didn't go through it with the plan. I used this IFV just to protect against the Rocketeers. But if I would have had some Guardian Geo IFVs plus the Rocketeers, I could have just really did a did a good downhill attack. I, I was going to try it, like three or four of them. But then I was like thinking maybe I should make a Battle Fortress or something. And I was like, oh man, it, it's too difficult at this point. I got to worry about not dying. And I'll, at, some, at some point, try to attack him. I'm trying to micro my. I hate that word micro. It just sounds stupid. Um, I'm trying to use my IVs. So now I gotta bring up some of my GIs. Get my, get my rocketeers prepared. I wanna leave one miner, maybe two, to as a defense against prism tanks because they absorb a lot of the prism lasers. They have a lot of armor. That's something you wanna do. I was like, if he's gonna go down there, I'm gonna kill him. He's not gonna do that. But our one miner just got killed there. Construction complete. No, and I was like, I actually don't really want to make Mirage tanks. No, I don't. He has gap generator, but I don't have a gap generator. So he basically he has more information than me about what I'm doing, where I am. And now he's gonna expand his MCB, make his MCB bolt, and get that, and get that um ore patch over there. And that, that's a really big deal because we're both even, and we're both about even money, even army. And then he's going to get a giant, massive amount of money. That's a big deal. I think he just corners straight onto his GIs. That look weird. I don't know. And now the red approach is trying to sneak up. Now I'm gonna, am I gonna take the him out of my rocketeers. And that actually turned out to be a mistake right there. Um, I got the red approach so low. I was like, I know I'm gonna lose a couple of rocketeers. But then all his rocketeers can't were coming. I was like, should I run? I was like, no, I gotta get the bash first. I was just like, oh, screw it. And that yeah, yeah, it was just a mistake. But it wasn't a huge mistake because of the fact that I did get the battle fortress. Sacrifice that many rocketeers. Yeah, that wasn't. I would take that back. Sometimes I just gotta let the battle fortress go. Just gotta let the battle fortress go if, all, if he's got IVs and crap defending. Now he, he he sees I'm going to try to seal him. Training. He makes one one mirage tank as a defense. On the go. You notice his rocketeers are always ahead of his his army. Yeah. Um, I guess this is the way he does his formation. But I wanted to try to get this. If I would have got all those prison tanks, I would have won the game. So while he's, I only got a couple. Of prison, I got a couple of prison tanks actually, but not too many. Now while he was like busy moving his crap, I figure oh, I'm gonna kill all his GIs. And I got an elite, so that looked like that was a pretty good. I could have actually went for a second attack. Like I would have could have done something else while I was storming him, but I didn't didn't do bad right there with the getting an elite GI I mean elite IV. I noticed that I have this is my second elite one. I'm gonna try to make better use of this one than the last one. The last one actually that was cons Actually that last one wasn't bad. I got the oil. Oil in long game is a big deal. And I was like he's gonna eventually attack my oil in the upper left corner. So I wanna be ready for it. I was like, okay, he got my damn prism tanks, I know. Is it a problem with so some people is they stare down stuff? Uh oh. There it goes. I wanted to shield it. 
So I was like, at this point, I don't even know it's worth it. Could have used this, this Mirage tank to kill that Banner Fortress. And he made a mistake because he was deploying his GIs to try to kill my IVs with. But actually, so, but he needed to play this Banner Fortress too. Yeah, so this is totally pretty much a crazy game right now. So I'm some make on some Prism tank. You know, Prisms are real fragile if they're long, but if Prisms are in a group, they they get to the point where they get beyond undestructible if you have have enough Prisms to protect us to protect yourself with. I mean, enough Prisms to protect your other Prisms with. So, okay, and I was like, I do not want him to get my IVs. I mean, get my I have these or my miners. Or... Ah, I got the weather storm, so I could wait around for a while because I had the weather storm. He has to attack you, he needs to kind of get my weather storm. I know the miner was actually. The prison lasers were bouncing off of that miner, and I was like, oh my god. I tried to get out of there because it was bouncing and hitting my crap, but, but now he, cause he's coming in for an attack. And now it's getting hectic. I gotta bring in a miner to to defend. And now it looks like it's looking dangerous right now. I get it. He killed some of my IVs right now. I don't know how many. So make sure nothing crazy happens like him getting my MCVR or weather dice. Now I, I don't know what he has right now. I, I, I just won the battle. A huge battle right there. So I'm like, okay, I could kill him now. But I was actually scared. I didn't know. I was scared to go into the gap, but I I asked him later. I was like, what did you have? He said he only had three prisms. Three prisms and like a battle push with like two units in it. I was like, I could have won the game right there, I think. But I wanted to um, storm him. See? So, oh, he's filling his battle fortress. Actually, I don't think it's full. So, yeah, three. He, so he's telling the truth. Three prisms and a battle fortress. I think I could really um could could really hurt him right there. Actually, maybe his battle fortress could probably hold up my IVs at this point. But if I would have attacked right away, I think I could have done more. Um. So yeah, that's probably could have won me the game right there. I'm ninety percent sure. The reason is because um he didn't have his battle fortress full. And three prisms, no way they're gonna beat like eight rack IVs. And like, here's where I screwed up. He's got lucky with the para drops right there. Got my lab, that was really shitty. I don't know how he para dropped right over all eight IVs. How the hell did he para drop? And they, the plane didn't get shot down. That's really weird. So, anyway. I can't fight this battle. Can't fight his battle with his IVs. So I maybe need, in a sense, I don't have my lab. Dude, that really sucks because um, he got this lab, the lab. He got the lab with his GIs. So I can't make Mirage Tanks. So you gotta make like three three or four Mirage Tanks to take out a Battle Fortress. Um, but now I gotta make Grizzly Tanks. And, and they're gonna be having struggle versus the Battle Fortress. I was, I'm waiting around. I got the weather storm, so I was like, okay, I could wait around because I had the weather storm. Because I'm gonna eventually gonna win if I keep storming him. He's gonna lose the game eventually if I keep storming him. Just no, no doubt about it. You gotta think. Um, if he didn't have the corner sphere, it'd be a little bit easier, to, a lot easier to win if he didn't have the corner sphere. So I gotta, gotta be careful here. I'm trying to fill him up, and I don't have enough money to make a lab right now, so I figure. Making some Grizz since we both don't have shit. Making Grizz is actually the best idea for a while, and then eventually I can make a lab. And it's a low resources. Most of the money is gone. Actually, you know what I did wrong right here? I should um should put a pillbox in the back of my base. Actually, I do have one in the back of my base. Near the back of my base, but because I know the Chronosphere is coming, so what? I don't know. So I see this GI is there. So I'm like, I'm gonna steal him because this guy steals me all the time. I was gonna use it. I was like, I don't need to use that pillbox right there. And I was like, oh shit. So you got my my um, MCV. 
And I'm actually pretty mad that this sucks. So, like, he got a big hit with the Chronosphere. I could have stopped it if I would have had more armed defenses in the back of my base, because I, I should have guessed it. And I don't know what happened to my seal. Don't know what happened to my Navy seal. And by the way, um... And by the way, I don't know if it just happened, but like, I think I messed up with the Weatherstorm, placing the Weatherstorm. I don't know if it was... It was this game? Because I had like a pillbox on hold and I didn't click on the Weatherstorm. I think it was this game, I don't know. We can make adjustments. Want some shade? Look natural. I got like confused for a minute. Because it was, um... On the go. Running smooth. On the go. Because I remember thinking like that. I think this might be the game where like, I'm trying to harass with this IV. Yep. But the two battle purchases he has defended, and all I got is Grizzly Tanks. It's gonna the be rough from this point forward. With the chrono convoy. So the only way I could win is try to. I got one Mirage Tank. Like, it's be it's Elite Mirage Tank is excellent versus a battle force. It, it can't beat it one versus one, but with help with other units, it, it could beat it. But he has two battle forces, so damn. Well, I gotta try something. When you when you harass, I, I at least I'm trying to attack. I'm trying to attack his miners. This GIs are attacking me, and now, and now I'm like, I think my Mirage and um, Grizzly on the raids could be him, so I'm not even looking at them for a second, so I could be. Oh, my Mirage tank went downhill at him. It went downhill and started messing up. Uh, my Mirage tank went downhill and started raping all his tanks, and then they got shot after it raped a couple of them. And I was like, oh my god, so. So here comes the pair of drops, and basically these two, these two battle forces, just nothing I could do about. So I basically, I'm going to lose the game. I mean, the, what, what it, the only thing I could do is make Guardian GIVs. I mean, what else could fight that battle force? Just nothing. So pretty much, that Chronosphere got me. Um, a lot happened.